Hi, it's Louise at Spiral Bright Insight. This is my first video of 2024. And what I wanted to talk about today is some um, sort of information about our upcoming new moon, which is happening next week on the 11th of January. And it is taking place at 20 degrees, 44 minutes of Capricorn. Now, new moons are always um, a mark of the new lunar cycle. Um, so they're a great time to put um, out intentions for what you want to create, what you want to invite in, any sort of new projects and um, get a sort of extra boost at this time. And it is when in the um, astrology chart, the sun and the moon align at the same degree. So the moon is coming around and meeting the sun in Capricorn. Now, the fact that this event is taking place on the 11th of January, and when we add the numbers in that date together, 11, 1, 2024, we get the number 11. So this is an 11 master day, which feels really significant. And I will come back to why I think that is as I get further into this video. But just to kind of set the scene for the energy um, of this new moon in Capricorn. Now, Capricorn is cardinal earth energy. So it is very much about sort of getting going, very action focused and um, cardinal energy is sort of um, putting things in place and um, activating setting off starting new projects and new things and in earth it is incredibly tangible and um, very practical very real so anything that um you are inviting in or setting goals about at this time with the support of energy of the new moon is going to have legs if you like if you want that that expression this is very much energy that is with us for the long term um so um we are sowing seeds at this stage because it is the start of the lunar cycle but these seeds are going to take root and um potentially it's going to take some time to generate and to flourish because um, Capricorn does take time. It's quite slow and steady, but there is always success and achievement at the end. So there will, um, whatever you sort of set out um, to achieve or invite in at this new moon, it will yield results. So be very discerning, be very careful about what it is that you set um, your intention for. If you're setting goals or resolutions um, or just thinking about what you want your life to look at, be very discerning and be quite specific because Capricorn is specific. Now, um, the other energies that we associate with Capricorn are very much about order and structure. So Capricorn is a very determined sign. There is tenacity, perseverance. Like I say, this is energy that is for the long haul. Um, so if there are obstacles and challenges that kind of come up with Capricorn, there is a real um, sense of you will push through regardless. Um, so, you know, yes, there can be limitations, but that isn't really a problem with Capricorn because um, there is such a strong work ethic. Um, Capricorn is consistent. It is very practical. Um, it is very controlled and very steady energy. There is strong commitment with this sign, um, but also success. And obviously Capricorn is um, represented, the symbol of Capricorn is the mountain or the sea goat. Um, so, you know, there can be quite challenging, quite precarious sometimes conditions for this um, creature, but it has a way and a will and a determination to make it to the top, whatever. Um, Ambition is very closely associated with Capricorn, as is reputation and status. So if we think about how these themes may be playing out, um, it could be interesting. And also integrity. Capricorn has absolutely oodles of integrity. So anything that is not aligned with integrity um, could 
could actually be on its way out or it should be and it certainly is we can see that around us all the time but um it is very much um sort of with the, the sense I get with this energy as well is because Capricorn is traditionally at the top of the chart it rules the 10th house at the top of the wheel and um, Capricorn has the ability to see the bigger picture you know you can stand on top sort of rise up out of the pits of the mire of the drudge of everything that's going on sort of down at a lower level and rise up so this sign is very much linked to ascension um, there's also a closer connection with the spirit world and with the higher self um, and you know Capricorn is able to in its higher expression take advantage of the spiritual resources that it has access to being at that higher level and bridge the heaven and earth so this is beautiful energy and beautiful potential with this new moon now Saturn is Capricorn's ruling planet and Saturn is linked um as is capricorn to mastery to responsibility to maturity and there's a real sort of sense of coming of age so again this new moon although it is about new starts because it is um so far into the zodiac and the astrological calendar there is a sense of you know we have done this before and now we have to get it right. We have to master it and we have to be accountable for our decisions and what things we put in place to help us move forward. Um, so with this kind of coming of age comes wisdom, comes maturity, and it's very much a time to grow up and take things seriously. Um, you know, you cannot be flippant or sort of you know kick your heels back with Capricorn you know this is time to really knuckle down get on with the hard work that is needed and use your self-discipline as well now Saturn is also a very karmic planet and um, there are lessons to learn when Saturn is active in the chart um so you know this this is also a time where as um as humanity we are working on lessons that we need to learn and take note of and um, so that is kind of in a nutshell some of the themes that might be stepping forward with this new moon but we also have some really interesting aspects of course, with any lunation or big astrological event, we don't just look at the actual um, planets and themselves. We also look at what else is going on in the chart. And there's some really exciting um, stuff going on. Um, so the sun and the moon are conjunct Uranus, um, which is an exciting alignment. It's very supportive. It's very harmonious. And whenever Uranus is active, we can expect the unexpected. There can be shocks. There can be surprises. But there is also a real sense of things being shaken up, of breaking through as well. So where there has been um, possibly with Capricorn as its Earth, it can come quite stuck in its ways um, and Uranus is going to ensure that that is not happening at this time in our sort of evolution it's time to break free so if we've been held back and obviously with Saturn as well you know there can be limitations restrictions and um, we can feel that it's hard to move forward but Uranus is here to say no it's okay I'm here to help. I'm going to help you break free of any sort of restrictions, any shackles that you have been bound by. And because Uranus is also linked to awakening, there is a real sense of awakening here. Unconventional, exciting, brilliant, um, outside of the box, um, possibly even sort of futuristic um, energies coming through and galactic as well and I will talk about the galactic energies because this is a very galactic new moon and um, we also have Pluto which is at the anoretic 29 degree point of um, Capricorn now Pluto is in a very wide conjunction it's nine degrees so it's not 
that close to the sun and the moon but there is a connection here because they are in the same signs and obviously Pluto is about transformation and evolution and sort of the breaking down of what is no longer fit for purpose and um, so there is a sense with the sun and the moon coming up behind Pluto of anticipation of huge transformation and what is that going to look at now because um we are talking about Capricorn and it is very earthy, it's very real, it's very tangible. You know, we can start to think about what we want the earth to look and feel like and what we want our lives to look and feel like um, and bring that really down into sort of our 3D or our real world um, reality. Um, now, there is also a trine with Jupiter, the planet of expansion, and Mars, the planet of action um, and passion and excitement. Um, and these two planets are both in Earth signs at five degrees of Jupiter is in Taurus and Mars will be in Capricorn. Um, so this is a beautiful, again, really positive, harmonic, supportive energy. And it is all about expanding um, our passion and our motivation and our determination to really get things moving and make things happen, make things real. Um, very much in about the long term as well. So make changes for the good and for the better. Um, and it's also, yeah, it's like whatever we do, the, these two planets are giving their sort of support to, to make sure, you know, whatever we do, it has legs and it has longevity. Like I say, we are in for the long haul, but there is passion and activation and motivation to really get going and really do it this time. Um, now, Saturn is sextile to Jupiter and to Mars, so it's sitting in between the two. Um, and with this, again, it's like, because this is the lunation's ruler, this is adding gravitas, adding weight, adding structure, and really making it real. Um, so, you know, really lovely um, sort of little aspect there. We also have a square. So the moon and the sun are at 20 degrees of Capricorn in a direct square to the nodes of fate which are at 20 degrees of Aries and Libra. Now this again is really exciting because the nodes of fate are linked to our destiny. They're linked to our um, growth, our collective growth, our collective evolution, where we're going, where we need to sort of um, evolve to become the best versions of ourselves as um and in this sense, it is as a collective. So where there is a square, it can be a little bit uncomfortable because squares will push us out of our comfort zones, no question. But this is always for our greatest good, for our spiritual growth, for our evolution. And it is forcing change. Um, so there's a real drive and a real impetus here to, again, get things going, get things moving, um, especially as, you know, Aries is a cardinal sign as well. It's about us stepping into our sovereignty, sort of embracing who we are, our identity. Um, and yeah, it's, you know, with this new moon, it's like this isn't, it does feel like a really strong new start. Now, the other thing I need to say before I go on to the galactic stuff is the fact that Eris, um, which is a dwarf planet of chaos and strife, is stationing direct on the same day. So again, this is really energising energy. Um, Eris will call out any injustice in this world and she stands up for the underdog. Um, she has real warrior energy. She's very passionate. She can get quite angry if she sees things that aren't fair. Um, but again, you know, it is like this huge emphasis and this oomph um, to kind of get things going. You know, we've been sort of knowing that this is coming for a long time, but it feels like, you know, this is a really positive um, event to kind of get things moving, especially at the beginning of this very dramatic um and eventful and transformative year that we are in. Um, so just to go over very quickly the galactic alignments, um, we have the sun and the moon are conjunct the Lyra ring nebula and fixed star Sheliac in the Lyra system. Now the Lyra ring nebula is um, a stargate or portal and it has been used um, for for beings to basically move between realms to time travel to um go into other dimensions and other realities um 
And you know, really, when this is aligned with the sun, there is a sense of a we are going to have access to all that is access to other realities, other ideas um, and other dimensions because it does act as a vortex. But also I feel as well there is the potential here with this um, alignment because the sun shines a light on anything that it touches. There is a potential here for timeline jumps. Now, um, obviously, if you're watching this video and you're interested in galactic astrology um, and ascension, you're going to have heard of timeline jumps already. And, you know, there are many people that believe that these are happening all the time. But it feels like this might be a day or a time for this to happen. And also with the fact that we've got the Master 11 energy as well. And um, because with the 11, you know, there's a kind of a real sense of um, direct um, connection between different realms and different realities. The 11 is very linked to enlightenment, to spiritual um, wealth and spiritual wisdom. Um, and again, it acts like a bridge, but we can sort of, you know, the 11 has got two strands. So which strand are we choosing um, is kind of what I'm feeling as I tune into this. Um, Lyra is a very um, important star system in our human galactic history because it's said to be the birthplace of humanity and it's the home of human consciousness. Um, so a very creative star system, um, very, um, very beautiful energy, very supportive. The Lyrans want us to evolve. They want us to grow. Um, so there is some really beautiful energy here. And it's also very closely linked to frequency, to energy, to music and sound as well and healing energy. And um, so we've got that amazing conjunction off the bat. And then we also have Mercury in an almost exact conjunction to the galactic centre. Now, Mercury is our, the messenger, it's the storyteller. It's the way we um, access information. It's the way we think, the ideas we form, the information we receive and we share. And when we have a conjunction... Um, with a cosmic point like the galactic center and bearing in mind this is the third time it has happened given the recent retrograde that mercury has had and um, there is access to cosmic wisdom cosmic information cosmic ideas um, and you know there is no sort of barrier there so it is coming through loud and clear for anybody who is open and ready and willing and wanting to hear and absorb um, and integrate that information. So that is really exciting. Mercury is in a square to Neptune. So again, there's that square energy. It's about sort of really promoting, pushing for, forcing growth. And in um, with Neptune, it's about our spiritual selves, sort of our dreams, our imagination. Also, who do we think we are? Who do we know we are? And sort of really challenging our ideas of who we think we are in this realm, in this reality, in this universe. Um, Jupiter, the planet of expansion. I've already said it's in a trine to Mars and sextile Saturn, but it is also opposing the Shapley or Shapley attractor, which is a really powerful cosmic point. And whenever this point is activated, there is a sense of the truth, nothing but the truth. And anything that is not true, that is not um, with, with integrity, um, is basically stripped back because the Shapley acts as a black hole, sort of magnetising everything away to and, and sending out new information. So masks will fall and Jupiter expanding this energy is sort of just kind of giving an extra sort of dynamic. And of course, with, with the new moon being ruled by Saturn in Capricorn, which is a very strong energy of integrity as well. This feels like, you know, um, if you've been acting out of integrity or if you if we know of other situations out there that are not true and are not acting with, you know, with authentic integrity, um, there's likely to be some um, shifts there and, you know, some breaking down, breaking through, waking up through the Uranus connection. 
And the last um, aspect I wanted to talk about is Saturn, because Saturn is in um, a very close conjunction with one of the fixed royal stars called Fommelholt. Um, now, this is one of the watchers in the skies, um, very beautiful, very high frequency energy linked to Archangel Gabriel, who's the Archangel of communication and information and very much aligned with Christ consciousness. So unity, compassion, creativity, which are all um, sort of aspects that we or traits that we associate with the Pisces energy, which is where Saturn is at the moment. But Saturn who is ruling this lunation, being activated by Fommelholt and this beautiful archangel, angelic, such high frequency energy is coming in to um, support the karmic work that Saturn is doing, to hold the space for us, to um, provide these beautiful light codes and energies. And also to remind us that, you know, everything is transient in this world, in this universe, in this reality, and change is constantly happening. So um, just to kind of hold that space for us, um, but with that knowing that, you know, we cannot avoid change, but also everything does change. And um, it kind of feels like there's a real loving, nurturing, compassionate um, energy, you know, just to support us through this time of change, which um, is clearly what we are experiencing. So um, there's, lots, there's quite a few other galactic alignments, but I don't want to get too complicated with this. Um, and um, yeah, <laughs> it's it's uh it feels like a really powerful one and i know i and many other kind of light workers astrologers teachers we ever say that a lot um but it it really does it's a very special new moon and it's one that i'm very excited about so if you have strong Capricorn in your chart, you are going to be feeling this. If you've got strong cardinal energy, that's Aries, Libra, Cancer, Capricorn, you are going to be feeling it, especially if you've got planets or angles or points sort of around about 20, 18 to 24 or 22 degrees it's going to be strong for you um but you know this affects us all um and especially this year 2024 it's sort of coming more obvious that you know we cannot sort of compartmentalize or distance ourselves from things um like maybe we have done in the past you know we are moving into a time where the energy is very much collective and when something happens in one part of the world or to one group of people it's going to be harder to sort of turn our back and think, well, that doesn't affect me because it feels like the experiences that we're going to have this year in particular are going to be very collective. And um, because the energy is changing so that we are all feeling more connected and the, the unity consciousness is starting to rise, regardless of what you see out there, don't watch the news because it's just all, you know, everything split and... Um, dualistic and you know polarized but you know there is also this new energy coming through um and it feels like you know this this potentially this new moon is a really great opportunity to try and harness that and to um to kind of bring it down into our reality make it tangible make it real so i hope that has been useful um Thank you so much for watching. You can sign up for my um, mailing list. I have a mailing list. I send out a monthly newsletter at the, it tends to be the last day of each month with kind of a heads up to what's happening. So please sign up if this is kind of interesting. Please subscribe, please like the video, please share it. Um, I'm trying to grow my channel. So any support in that area is so um, much appreciated. And um, yeah, I wish you well. Happy New Moon. I will be back. There's lots more to talk about. Um, but yeah, for now, thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.